Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Did you know Hamilton Beach makes three single-serve coffee makers called The Scoop? I'm going to do a comparison between all three of these coffee makers and show you how they're different. On the left, I got the next generation The Scoop. In the middle, I got the original The Scoop. And on the right, I got the next generation The Scoop with water reservoir. So the one on the left retails for $40 right now. It was just released. The one in the middle is $52. This is like the original. It's been around a while. And the one with the reservoir on the right, it's retailing for $66 right now. It was released a few years back. Okay, so let me start off by saying these are all three really nice coffee makers. They use coffee grounds. You have to use coffee grounds at a medium grind. None of them use a pod, a K-cup, or nothing like that. So they call it the scoop because you've got this brew head, and they all have the scoop. Now, they're all just a little bit different. But you're going to scoop your coffee grounds out of the, your container and then put them in here, close the lid, and brew your coffee. What's really nice is you can brew into a travel mug or a coffee mug. So here's what the brew head looks like. Okay, so let's go over some of the differences now. These two are going to brew every time you press the brew button on these two. It brews whatever amount of water you put back here. The one with the water reservoir... We can brew an 8 ounce or a 14 ounce. That's all we can brew. We can't brew anything in between, like a 10 ounce or a 12 ounce. Over here, we can brew in between because we're in charge of how much water we add. And so these two, they have a minimum mark of 8 ounces, a maximum mark of 14 ounces. Minimum 8, maximum 14. I can brew anywhere in between, but those are the minimum and maximums. Now, these two share something in common. They have a bold brew. You can do a bold brew and a bold brew on this one or a regular brew. This one is simply one brew button. You're just going to press the, the button here. It's going to light up. It's only going to brew one strength. So we can see the one with the water reservoir again. We're going to press the button we want to brew so we can make sure our water reservoir is full and we can brew several different um, cups of coffee. With these, you got to put the amount of water in here each time you're going to brew. Then as far as the scoops, they're all relatively about the same. You can put a... a one and a half tablespoons to three tablespoons of coffee in each one. And here we go. So they're just a little different, but they're kind of the same. Now they all have trays that come down for brewing into a, a mug. That's about five inches. That one's about four and a half. And that one's about five inches. Now these two, it's very simple to put the tray up. This one, you got to kind of turn this around. A little tricky, but... And this one, you just fold up. So these two brew into a 7-ounce travel mug. This one and this one. This one you can brew into a 7.5-ounce travel mug. Okay, so let's make some coffee with each one. Now, both, all of them have a secondary filter underneath the primary filter. And there's that one. And then there's that one. And all of those secondary filters do come out. Okay, so I've got my water reservoir full. I got, we're going to brew 8 ounces of brew with each one. So with this one, we're not going to do bold brew. Let's just do eight ounce. We're just going to press this button. We're going to press this button. And then we're going to press this big brew button. They all have indicator lights to let you know that they're brewing. This one's the red light there. Now the one with the water reservoir is brewing first. Now it has a water pump in it. These two do not have water pumps in them. Okay, so the water reservoir is about finished up. And we got about 187, I saw the maximum coming out of there. So they, these two did not start too far behind. So let's check the next gen. About one, so I have seen as high as 187 also on this one. Let's check the originals of Scoop. 187. Let's go back to this one. It's a little hard to do. Yeah, it's ramping. I have seen 187 on this one also. Right now it's 184. It's ramping up pretty quick. So the one with the water reservoir is done the fastest. That's a really hot cup of coffee. Let's check, see how hot it is. 165. Next gen is finishing up quick. Okay, so this one's finished up. And 165, so both of these are 165 degree cup of coffee when you're done. And the scoop is finishing up also, so it's all the way done. And you end up with 
163, 160 degree in a cup of coffee. So to me, the coffee tastes the same out of all of it. The, the one with the water reservoir might taste a little bit better, but I really did enjoy the taste out of this one also. So let's lift them up, see how they did brewing. There's the original one. There's the one with the water reservoir. You can see they're all, they all brew just a little bit different. This one probably looked like it brewed the best. So cleanup is the same on all three of them. On all three of them, both of these parts are dishwasher safe. You do get a little bit of sediment down there. You will get a little bit of sediment in your coffee because you're using a reusable filter. So coffee makers, if you use a coffee maker that has a paper filter, you don't get sediment in your coffee. But with these, you do get a little bit of sediment in your coffee. But they both have those secondary filters to catch what does go around. So these are all three really nice coffee makers. Again, being able to brew 14 ounces using three tablespoons of coffee into a travel mug, that's a very nice feature. That means your coffee is going to be at the right strength for 14 ounces. So for me, it's going to come down to probably this one. This one's probably the simplest to operate right now, and it is the cheapest. And I did feel like they all made about the same cup of coffee. But seeing how that middle one did create kind of like a coffee bloom, I wasn't able to taste that, but it did look like it brewed the coffee a little bit different. I'm not sure how availability is going to be on all three of these. Again, this one's the middle one. The original has been around a while, but you are still able to find it. This was brand new. This was just released. They didn't really do any promotion on it. I just found it on Amazon by accident. This one's been around for a couple years now with the water reservoir. I did critique it early on because you're only able to do 8 and 14, but... You know, that's probably the standard. You're either going to brew into a cup of coffee or you're going to brew into a travel mug. So um, this one is actually a pretty good coffee maker with being able to use the water reservoir. So with these two, you have a little bit more control. I can brew a 9-ounce coffee, a 10-ounce coffee, a 12-ounce coffee. But with this one, again, you are limited to just the two basic brews. I'll put a link to all three of these in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the links and end up buying the product, I do get a little bit of commission from that, but the products don't cost you anymore. I am doing live streams on Amazon every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. And I got some exciting news. We're getting ready to start a website, and we're going to be selling merchandise, like some really nice t-shirts and some stickers. I will be displaying them in my videos so that you'll have an idea of what you'll be getting. I really appreciate everybody's support. If there's any coffee makers you would like to see reviewed, leave them in the comments down below. And again, thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.